Hi, I'm Judith Rainforth, pastor of spirituality and care here at American Lutheran Church in Sun City, Arizona. And thanks for joining me today. I came across something on my iPad this week from the Evangelical Lutheran Church in America that I'd like to share with you. Today we commemorate Francis of Assisi, renewer of the church who died in 1226. Born into the family of a wealthy merchant, Francis gave up his inheritance to serve poor people. He formed the order of Friars Minor called Franciscans, who took on poverty and the task of preaching using words if necessary. Francis had a spirit of gratitude for all of God's creation. A prayer attributed to Francis of Assisi goes like this. Lord, make us instruments of your peace. Where there is hatred, let us sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is discord, union. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. Where there is sadness, joy. Grant that we may not so much seek to be consoled as to console to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive, it is in pardoning that we are pardoned, and it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. Amen. I absolutely love that prayer, and we use it often in our church. And as I was beginning this reading, it reminded me that when he took on the task of preaching, he used words if necessary. And I'm reminded of something that I learned some time ago that perhaps we are the only Bible somebody may see in a day. Are we being an example of the words of Jesus Christ? Are we living them in all we say and do? Certainly not to perfection, but I hope that's our goal, is to love others as Jesus loved us. And in this crazy time in our world, I think that can help if we just love one another and try to let go of our differences and embrace, embrace our similarities in Jesus Christ. Let us pray. Gracious and loving God, as St. Francis Prayer teaches us, help us to be instruments of your peace. To not hate, but to love. To hate evil, but to not hate people. Lord, forgive us when we fail and be with us this day. Inspire us once again with your Holy Spirit and nudge us, nudge us in the direction you would have us to go. In Jesus' name we pray, amen.